Well, ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is L.A. Noir. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder. You are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with today's case, shall we? The console's car. Keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. That's DR weird. is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any okay. questions? Good. Get going. <laughs> so you're the first yeah. in this family going without a tail. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Yeah, sounds that way. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We'll catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. He's only a writer. He can't really help it. Can I go out through here? I knew it was Yeah. So I could take that car, but I think this one over here is a little better for the better fit, better style, you know. You hear about Adrian? Brought to Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. No, I, I agree with him, actually. She should not be taking that guy back. Wow, this is literally right around the corner. What have we got Phelps, today? Traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. You don't say. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched Ooh. this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. Classy. What's this? Why is there a baseball bat on the ground? This isn't what we're looking for. Yeah, okay. I mean, depends. The car is damaged. No license plate. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. And they only took one side, too. I also only took one of the flags. Taking the flag as a souvenir can't have any street value. Argentinian flag, you say? Well, that door is nicely busted. Uh, California Motor Vehicle Registration Certificate. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Consulate General of Argentina. Hmm. Mel Davis. Interesting. Uh, does it give a license number? Yeah, PR706. No, that's just going to give me the same thing over and over again. Is that back here at the trunk? 
Anything back here? Empty. So there's no spear. So I assume that's what that divot on the right side is supposed to be. That should be where the spare tire would be at, right? Is there anything else around? What's this over here? Lug nut? Lug wrench? Yep, that is a wrench. No, hold it there. Property of Dewey Bros. Use it to remove the wheel lugs. Using a wrench like that to take lug nuts off? That would suck. Doing that with something like that instead of like a proper tire iron where you can actually get some traction on it and some leverage. Alright, I don't think I see anything else out here. Do I? I don't seem to. Is there anything over here? No. No, it's just just no baseball. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Yeah, no. Just random trash. It's nothing important. All right, I think we've seen everything we're supposed to see. Let's go talk to the old man. Actually. Can I not get into the vehicle? Can you, can you get out of my way, please? I would really like to open this car up. But I guess I'm not allowed to. Nope, all I can do is just look at this. All right, let's go talk to the old man and see what's going on. Shall we? Come on, a little pep in the step. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What's in your little book? What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Okay. Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Okay, he doesn't seem to be lying. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Yeah, Once they were gone, you're you had full to of crap there, dude. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Didn't seem to be lying. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. <laughs> What exactly did you see them take? 
They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Let's take a look at our notebook. Yeah, no. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. You should show me some respect. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? <laughs> Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. Curious what he didn't want us to see? I'm very curious. Let me pick it up. Come on, you dick. Pick it up. Sorry, the game is in windowed mode and it is being a little bit of a pain for me right now, control wise. Why can I not pick up the book? No, I don't want to sit down. Any ideas? I think we've rung this place dry. Let's find a game well. There, finally. Jesus. Agenda. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Stanley Mercer, lovely speaking voice. Walter Marshall, good-natured, Ben Brown, gentle boy, Teddy Hopper, full lips? What? Jimmy Corbett, baseball fan, Sammy Mueller, needs a little... Needs a little coaxing. Not coaching, coaxing. We need to put this guy below the prison. Like, six feet below the prison. Freddie Applegarth likes cherry flavored candy. Danny Marston, angelic features. Miguel Fabian, olive skin. Tristan Hardy, blonde locks. Larry Hall, tanned with blue eyes. Danny McMahon, tall and lean. Frankie Voss, barrel chest. Christian Pillory, delicate. Wait, did he find this inside? Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Timothy Stabo, slim hips. Kenneth Vaughn, particularly shy. Jeremy O'Dell likes gifts. Jacob Hogger, very innocent. Willie Gable, very pale. Gabriel, angelic features, but feisty. I think we've rung this place dry. Let's find a game well. Yeah. He, that must be what he took from that car. That's why he freaked out. And probably why he got pissed off at me about the other stuff. Ooh. Okay. Just random phones that ring back Cold to the police department. 1247. That's cool. Good question. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? 
LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's that school officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Messages for me, please. There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks, ma'am. Hmm. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. All right. So... Dealership or Central? We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. I think we ought to go ahead and interview this guy first. dangerous metallic sodium head for destruction in Lake Lenore, Washington. The government surplus chemical ignites. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we've got this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. All the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. I mean, that's kind of a valid point, I guess. Disposal of the chemical by the War and Administration is made necessary because no public carrier will accept it for transport. Corner of First and Hill. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning? Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I didn't know what to do. My sister's always been lucky when it comes to her. It's a cup of the kid. About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? Do I, I need care? I'm back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend. Let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Do we, brothers? Mm, think someone from okay. the garage could have been involved in the theft? It would not surprise me in the least. Oh, I got that wrong. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the Consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flogged. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, Your Worship. Should have gone to Dewey's Brothers first, I think. You I'm going to call Dart, though. Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? <clears throat> There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. 
tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mecanico. A presumptuous young man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. We do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. You can go in line. Boys, Valdez. Are you a madman? This will cause an international incident. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. Mm. Gabriel, spill it. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Hey, don't mind me. That's got a screw loose. Okay, so yeah, I should have. Thank God, I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Probably should have gone to Dewey's first. Yeah, I need to get better with using the uh, the doubt option, I guess. It's hard to read somebody when you're meeting them for the first time, though. You know what I mean? Do do do. Locations, Dewey Brothers. Give me that destination. Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, we're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That is well. EGP Alta any unit to 459, they're now at 267,000 main unit to handle code 2 identifying. Uh, that's just simple code too, I'm not going. Make up your mind. You prick. Trying not to hit me. People can't make up their mind they want to walk out in the street or not. Like, it's a dangerous place. Alright, let's see what's going on at the dealership, shall we? your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. I mean, if he's the owner, he wouldn't know about what's going on in the mechanics bay anyways. At like a, you know, a day-to-day -day who brought their tools back kind of level. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do here. The 
that slot. Red one goes in the lower slot there. Red one goes up there. One left. And the other one goes up there. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Optimistic, Cole. Yeah. Mm, it's a California plate. I don't think so. Not something that would be involved. Seems irrelevant. Yeah, it's just a spark plug and a pair of needle nose pliers. Not involved. Yeah, these are all California plates. They don't count for anything. Alright, where'd big boy go? There he is. Back over here. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. I think I have anything on him. Yeah, I don't think I have anything on him. So Valdez was just driving by and he saw the car. Yeah, something like that happens all the time. Okay, so I got that one wrong. Where can Delgado? we find Delgado? I, I am not know. very good at this. Sure as hell isn't here. I'm going to have to provide some kind of... I guess the stolen wrench. You're lying got him holed up somewhere I'm having nothing to do with that kid you can't prove any different that kid's tempers like a time bomb I want nothing more to do with him or you Jeez. okay I am terrible at this apparently a wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night mr. Dewey a couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. Doubt? What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. I don't know. I, so I think I, I completely screwed this up. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs. They have less attitude. Downside is... They're a little light fingered. Well, at least I got I one of them, right? The Jesus. And spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. I am really bad at this. All right. 
Well, I royally flubbed that one, so that's awkward. But on the bright side, we kind of have an idea of who to chase down, at least. This Delgado kid, Gabriel Delgado, sounds like he was somehow involved. So I guess he'll be our next stop. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to watch me hopefully redeem myself and solve the case correctly in the next episode, well, subscribe. That way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. And I will catch you in the next one.